Y'all, cottage cheese ice cream? Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling that thing that I can't get away from, cottage cheese ice cream. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, it's everywhere. I can't, it's everywhere. You can, I know you've seen it. If you've been online anytime, you've seen it. Everybody's making ice cream out of cottage cheese. So today we're gonna try it out. I, um, I'm gonna link some recipes below that other people are doing. This has gotten very popular on TikTok. It's like all the kids on TikTok have just discovered that cottage cheese even exists, but it does and they're making ice cream out of it. Now, this is gonna be very easy. This video is gonna be a short one, but I just gotta try this so that we can know how good this is because they all go, mmm, it's so good. And I really wonder, is it as exciting as they say? So we are starting with some cottage cheese. This is um, Good Culture brand. Uh, I found this at Walmart. I have found this at uh, Kroger Ralph's. And um, it is only three grams of total carbs per uh, half cup. And that's some of the lowest I've seen. Regular full fat cottage cheese, which you want full fat for this. Uh, is generally about five or six grams of, of carbs. So good culture, um, again, not affiliated, not sponsored, but that's what we're using here because that's what a lot of people are using and it is, seems to be the lowest carb. And I have tried it and it is good because there is some low carb um, uh, yogurt out there. I forget the brand, like Too Good or something like that. And it just is not for me. I'm sorry. There's something I cannot put my finger on that I despise about it. And it tastes nothing like yogurt to me. But this is actually real cottage cheese. So this is a 16 ounce container of cottage cheese. You can do this in any increment. And honestly, um, make it as sweet or as flavorful with whatever you want in it. So we're gonna start with, you can do this in a, with a stick blender in this little thing if you have a stick blender. Um, if you don't and you just have a, a blender or a, um, a, a smoothie maker, or I'm just gonna use a food processor, I found it to be the easiest because I did make a chocolate one earlier so we can go ahead and test it. So this is the recipe for chocolate. So in our food processor, we're just gonna throw in all the cottage cheese and um, it's the small curd, but it, uh, whole milk, full fat, about 4% fat really does help. If you can't um, find this brand Good Culture, just use whatever you can that's got the lowest amount of carbs because even five grams is not terrible. Um, so there you go. Okay, we're gonna keep this because that's our ice cream is going back in that as soon as we're done. Now, even though we're making chocolate, um, I'm gonna add some vanilla to this. I find that it, you know, cottage cheese has a little bit of that salty whang to it um, by itself, and I find the vanilla sort of just cuts that down a little bit. So half a teaspoon of vanilla extract um, goes right in, and then let's discuss sweeteners. Any kind of sweetener you want, really. Um, erythritol, uh, I'm gonna use allulose. I'm gonna use a third of a cup of allulose. It's about a little less than six tablespoons. Um, but allulose, as you know, is a little less sweet than sugar. You can use stevia. In fact, I'm gonna use some stevia in a strawberry version or a berry version we're gonna make in just a minute. Uh, you could use erythritol if that works for you. You could use bocha sweet if that works for you. Um, whatever it is, I I've even thought about using, I have some of the Torani flavored coffee syrups that are made with erythritol, the zero sugar erythritol. Um, I've thought about using that and, and making flavored ice creams with that. So I'll let you know if that turns out. To this, we're also gonna add in about a, a quarter cup of cocoa powder. And then as simple as this is, we're gonna throw this on and I'm gonna pulse it for just a couple of seconds and then we're gonna let it run. Um, a lot of the recipes say let it run for like five minutes. It, that was way too long. It only takes about a minute and a half, if that, in my food processor. If you're doing it in with a stick blender in this, you know, in the container, you're gonna have to take a little time and not make a mess. But, um, so I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna let this run and then we'll be right back. See you in just a second. Okay, just because of the nature of the beast, you're gonna to wanna to kind of scrape down your sides here. You can use a regular blender, uh, but I find this the easiest to get out of a food processor. So you might just wanna scrape down the sides, make sure you're 
getting all the stuff mixed in good. That cocoa powder tends to cling to everything. All right, back in for just a few more seconds. All right, so we just need to get this out of here and back into our little container. If you wanna do a couple of these, you can do like 32 ounces of this, two of these containers or a large container of, of uh, cottage cheese and put it in a loaf pan or some sort of a uh, pan that you can scoop out of. Now, um, this uh, is gonna remain pretty creamy apparently. Um, but after a few hours or overnight, it's gonna kinda harden and get icy like you know, non-churned ice cream, non-commercial ice cream does. You can add a little vodka um, if you have vodka to that. I don't keep alcohol in the house um, or I would have done that. Just, it kind of keeps things from freezing. Um, but uh, otherwise you can just set it on the counter for 10 minutes before you serve it which unfortunately is the case with a lot of these ice creams that, you're, that are homemade and even a lot of the, um, the commercial brands that are made with erythritol, they just kind of get icy, you know, and, and it's too hard to scoop and you got to leave them out. But small price to pay if it's healthy and it tastes good. That's the question. So let me get this out of the way. Get out of the way. Got it all over my fingers. And we're going to, without making as much mess as we can, just try to get this back into its container. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge and we're going to let it sit for about maybe an hour, maybe two hours, see how it comes out. Uh, if you want to stir it every now and then, go back while you're, while you're initially freezing it and, and, and stir it up every 30 minutes or so. That will also keep it kind of um, the texture correct. Uh, but again, that seems to be the caveat with a lot of homemade ice creams, low carb or not but you don't need an ice cream maker to do it. So look how pretty that is. It just goes right back in. Don't mind the cottage cheese uh, remnants in the container. And then I'm gonna put this in the freezer and I'm gonna get cleaned up here. We're gonna make a berry version. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys. So our first recipe, the chocolate ice cream is in the freezer, chilling out, ready to go. And we're gonna get started on our second one. This is the berry. It's uh, gonna be strawberry and blueberry. But before we begin, I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video, me. <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna ask you to do, because we're new best friends now, uh, I'm gonna ask you to do four things that will help me out tremendously and they won't cost you a dime. Number one, please hit the like button on this video. It lets YouTube know that this is a good quality video that they should share with other people that aren't subscribers. Number two, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button right next to it so that you'll be notified just as soon as a new video becomes available. Number three, Find me on Facebook and on Instagram if you're on either of those platforms. It's just highfalutin low carb. I'll leave links to it down below. I talk a little more frequently over there, a little more freely over there. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner, show you what I did for the day, other things. There's just a lot of a conversation going on over there and I've got a, a, about a, a quarter of a million people just on Facebook alone. So please go find me over there, highfalutin low carb. And lastly, number four, if you don't know, I have a personal channel. It's just Wes Shoemaker here on YouTube and I do some non-keto cooking over there. So if uh, watching, if you just like to watch me cook or whatever, which I know for some reason a lot of people do, uh, you guys do, um, go find me over there. Um, it's just Wes Shoemaker. I'll leave a link down below. It is not low carb and it is not keto, but I'm just sort of stretching my wings and just doing some things and exploring old cookbook recipes. So go check me out there. So those are four things that you can do to help me out immensely that won't cost you a dime. So thank you. All right, so let's get started on the second recipe. This one is gonna be interesting because it apparently is going to freeze itself. It's gonna make its own ice cream because we're using frozen berries. This is about a cup of frozen wild blueberries and uh, strawberries, but they're whole, so it looks like it's more than a cup, but it's about a cup and they're frozen hard. We're also gonna start with 16 ounces of the uh, full fat cottage cheese. Goes right into the um, food processor. This one's going to take, prob I'm guessing, going to take a little bit longer because the berries are frozen hard. It's going to take some work to get those uh, down to the consistently with consistency we need, but um, apparently it's going to uh, freeze itself and make ice cream really without it having to go in the freezer. We're going to find out about that. Now, um, because I mentioned the vanilla, uh, I, I'm going to put a full teaspoon instead of a half teaspoon, a full teaspoon of vanilla in this because it's sort of like vanilla ice cream with strawberry, right? 
And then for this one, I'm just gonna try something different to show you that you can use whatever sweetener you like. Uh, we're gonna use some stevia, some liquid stevia in this, and it's gonna be about two teaspoons of the Sweet Drops uh, liquid stevia. And truly, I mean, y'all know what melted ice cream tastes like. Um, taste this as you go. If it's not sweet enough, go, you know, um, add more sweetener to it. One, two. So that's two of those. Get out of the way. And I'm generally not a fan of stevia, so I'm curious how this works out. Uh, I mean, I don't just hate it, but it's not my sweetener, uh, go-to sweetener. And now our frozen berries. We're gonna put this in and hope that this does its job. And now this is gonna be real loud because of all the frozen stuff. In this goes, and I'm gonna let this go, and I'll time it and kind of knock down the sides as it goes, and I'll let you know. And I'll uh, meet you right back here in just a sec. Okay, now um, probably use, uh, if you're gonna use frozen berries, don't use whole ones like I did. I would use um, uh, sliced uh, or pieces of strawberry because I do have one big, <laughs> big guy that will not get out of there. I'm gonna put him in a bowl on the side. So, um, or use a stronger blender than I have here. So I'm gonna put this in. Um, it didn't really get any more firm, I guess you could say, as you can see, than uh, with the frozen berries. It's still got to go in the fridge. So, um, but because we also added more volume to this, it's not going to all fit back in this pint, uh, in this 16 ounce container. So I'm going to put some to the side. Now, remember, you can make this with water. I mean, think about it. Butter pecan, you know, brown some butter and 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 toast some pecans. Uh, if you have any low carb or keto cookies, crumble them in there and stir it in at the last minute. There, the possibilities here really are endless, and um, customize it the way you see fit. So, all right, this goes back in the freezer. I'm gonna let these all sit up for a couple of hours, and I'll meet you back here. I told you this is gonna be fast. And we're gonna taste both of these, see what we think. And I'm gonna hopefully hear from you guys in the comments below some combinations you've done because I know I'm late on this. Everybody in the whole world's already made cottage cheese ice cream and I'm a day late and a dollar short, but we're doing it anyway. All right, I'll see you guys back here in just a bit. All right, my friends, we are back. It's been just shy of about two hours, and I did stir these about every half hour, just a little bit, as they were sort of coming to um, their frozen goodness. And now let's just see what they taste like. Um, the first one here is our chocolate. They're still a little, looks like, on the softer side of Sears. You're gonna, <laughs> the softer side, you're gonna have to, um, uh, let this sit up. And again, if you have some vodka uh, in the house, you can add a little bit of that. I just didn't buy a bottle for this, if, or you can even buy the little airplane bottles if you wanted to add a tablespoon or two to each. So what does it scoop like? This is still, it's kind of soft serve like, oh. I mean, the texture looks spot on. I'm gonna get a couple of scoops and leave some so I can make a thumbnail photo. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it looks like commercial ice cream. It looks like commercial ice cream. That's all I can say. Here's our strawberry, I mean, our strawberry and blueberry, and it has not been in the freezer quite as long, so it's a little softer than, ooh, yes, sir. It's a little softer than the others. This is more on the soft serve side. Okay, now, what do they taste like? So again, you can do whatever you want to with this. The, the possibilities are endless. And just count your three total carbs for the, um, for the um, cottage cheese, which actually is also three net carbs. Yep, three net carbs, plus whatever you wanna add in it. Add some pistachios, walnuts, whatever you're gonna do. So let's try uh, the chocolate. Is it as mmm as everybody? <laughs> says it is. It feels, looks, and smells 
like legit ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hold on. Okay. Texture 100% spot on ice cream. Um, there is a little slight, slight bit of the saltiness that I, what I perceive as saltiness from the cottage cheese, but wow, there are no curds. There are no, it does not feel like cottage cheese in the mouth. It feels like ice cream. Okay. Our berry version, this is going to have some seeds in it probably because we didn't, you can cook this down if you wanted to. Why will this not focus up there? Yeah. Look at that. Okay. This is our berry version. This is with stevia. The other one was with allulose. <laughs> Y'all, that is good. <laughs> okay. I'm legit proud of those. Um, not that I did anything. Um, I will tell you this. The chocolate is heavy on the cocoa. It's almost a little bit bitter. You know how cocoa powder can be bitter if there's not enough sweetness. So you might want to add a little bit of sugar or sweetener to that. Or if you have some other, like um, a, um, I know that Locanto and some other brands make chocolate syrup that have uh, keto approved sweeteners in them. You might try using some of that instead or in lieu of cocoa powder. I don't think like Lily's chocolate chips or something like that, or a bar and melting it down, I think that would seize in the cold. So I don't know if that's what you're looking for there. Uh, Y'all, this was really good. Again, the cocoa was a little bit bitter, um, but you can do so much with this. Think about uh, peanut butter powder, some PB2 powder, um, flavored whey. There, there's so many options, y'all. This right here with the stevia. And I, I told you, I'm not a huge fan of stevia, uh, I can't really detect that. And the sweetness of the actual berries made that fantastic. You could also cook those berries down on the stove, especially if you had fresh berries um, with a little bit of sweetener and then run that through a sieve so that you leave the seeds behind if you're using raspberries. I don't mind the seeds, that doesn't bother me, but for some people that is particularly uh, a no-go, especially if you want creamy ice cream. But y'all, dang, those are good. So. There you have it, cottage cheese ice cream. Yeah, yes, that is easy. And I got to tell you now that, um, you know, a pint of the, of the like Rebel or Halo Top, those things are, can be upwards of eight, seven, eight dollars. I think I bought one of these on sale, the 16 ounces for $3.99 at Kroger. And that was, that's one of our more expensive stores here in town. And it was on sale. So for the price, and it literally didn't take anything. You wouldn't even have to dirty anything up if you had a stick blender, immersion blender. So, yep, there you go. Cottage cheese ice cream. I guess TikTok was right, and I'm just a day late and a dollar short again. But y'all try this. Let me know down below if you have some particular variations that you like, because I know I'm going to get after it with some of my um, Tarani caramel sugar-free syrup uh, and another one, my next one. So... All right. I love you guys. I say it every time. These videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. Looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. Uh, I want to thank my sponsor again, me. <laughs> uh, be sure to do the four things I ask you. Like this video, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're uh, following me on Facebook and Instagram, High Flute and Low Carb. And go check out my personal channel if you're not triggered by full sugar or full non-keto foods at Wes Shoemaker. I'll leave a link there below. Um, otherwise, I need to thank my rock stars. Um, without them, none of this would be possible. It's my Patreon members. If you don't know what Patreon is, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you, who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube, and give a dollar or two a month just to keep the train on the tracks. You're gonna see all their names uh, start to scroll here below. Without them, none of this would be possible. So thank you all so much. I love you, and remember, today is a good day to have a good day.